Welcome. In this video we will finish the 3D housing project and prepare the file to be manufactured in JLC 3D. Let's start. The first step you must do is to position the circuit board on the face of the screw pillar. Enter the value 10 in this field. Now, let's set the box thickness parameter to 1.5 mm, the bottom region height to 28, the box height to 30 mm, and the lid fitting height to 6 mm. After configuring the parameters of our electronic circuit housing, we are going to make the last adjustments to the width and length dimensions of our housing. Next, we will start the access cuts to the connectors and the tactile button of the electronic circuit of the PCB. To start creating the cuts, it is necessary to select the side datum line tool. This line is used to indicate which side of the carcass will be cut. Next, let's start drawing the cuts to access the connectors and touch button on the electronic board. You must select the 3D shell, side slot region tool and then click on the line to indicate the cut drawing location. After clicking, draw the rectangle aligned with the connectors and make the necessary adjustments for the cut. Now, let's draw the tactile button cutout. The process is the same. Select the 3D shell side slot region tool, click on the reference line, and draw the rectangle. Then you need to make the cut dimension adjustments. Continue making adjustments until you find the proper dimensions for button access. After the side cuts, select the 3D shell top slash bottom slot region tool. Let's make cuts in the upper region for access to the screws of the connectors and LED. Draw a rectangle over the connector screws region. After drawing, click on the object to access its properties and select the top layer. This will cause the cut to be placed in the upper region of our box. Then make the necessary adjustments to the dimensions of the rectangle. Next, select the circle option of the 3D shell top slash bottom slot region tool. Draw a circle over the electronic board LED and make adjustments to the size of your circle, if necessary. Then see that the circle has been placed in the lower region of the box. Select the object's properties, change the layer to top, and see the circular hole in the top region of the lid. With these tools you can make changes to the design of your box and make new cuts to modify the look of your project's housing. Be free to create whatever you want. Now, let's carry out the process of exporting the files and purchasing our enclosure from JLC 3D. Click the order menu and the order 3D shell option. Confirm the purchase and wait while the files are automatically uploaded to the JLC 3D website. After uploading the files, select the type of 3D printing technology, material, color, number of plates and description of the type of project developed. Click Save to Cart to place the order in the cart. Then you must click on Secure Checkout to enter your home address and shipping method. After that, wait while the files are submitted for review. After the review, make the payment and use the JLC3D coupon on your first purchase to receive a $5 discount on your order. 